We give out the Volunteer of the Year Award every year at this conference to someone who has gone above and beyond in service to the university. But this year we're gonna do things a little bit differently. For the first time, we're going to rep recognize not one person, but two groups for an amazing ongoing accomplishment. Coincidentally, this story begins with our first speaker from earlier today, Monk Malloy. When the university was celebrating its 150th anniversary in 1992, I wasn't here, but word has it that Father Malloy called on the Notre Dame clubs around the country to plan a service event, service projects, as a gift to the local community in the name of Notre Dame. The Notre Dame Club of Staten Island answered that call, and they did so in a simple but brilliant way that continues to grow every year since. The club decided that they would host a food drive. They called it the Bread of Life Drive. They chose to hold it early in the spring, which is not usually the time when these are held, but that's when they saw that the food banks were running out of food of all that had built up during the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. The first year, seven Staten Island schools participated and collected food which was donated to three organizations dedicated to feeding the hungry in their area. The drive was a success, and they were energized, but they felt like they were just getting started. So they decided that they would then take it from there and make it an annual tradition. Each year it got bigger with more local schools participating and more organizations being served. Well, this year, 115 schools in Staten Island 14 schools in Brooklyn all participated in the club's food drive, collected food that was distributed to more than 20 local organizations. And since that first drive in 1992, BOLD, the Bread of Life Drive, has collected more than 1,285,000 non-perishable food items. That's pretty incredible service and a pretty great response to a small request from Monk. As remarkable as that is, the, the impact is stretched out way beyond Staten Island. And that's where our other honorees come in. Other Notre Dame clubs took notice and wanted to get involved. And so did Lose Lads. As many of you know, Lose Lads is a nonprofit organization founded in 2008 by Notre Dame alumni who played for Coach Lou Holtz. Can we just maybe have a loo something? <laughs> Come on. Okay. And they wanted to honor his legacy and celebrate all the values that he instilled in them. The leadership of Lou's Lads found out about Staten Island's Bread of Life drive and were inspired. They brought the idea to Lou himself, and he loved it, and told them to get involved. And when Coach Holtz gives these guys an order, they take it seriously. And ironically, I ran into Coach Holtz um, at this beautiful event that the Notre Dame Club of Chicago did last week, the Rockney event, and he was the speaker. And he said to give all of you his regards, and he couldn't be more excited about Luz Lads being part of this award. So Luz Lads, in partnership with Bold, and help with our friends from the Monogram Club here on campus, everyone's getting in the act now set out to make this a national effort. And in 2014, the first year of the partnership, they helped organize local Bread of Life drives in 35 cities. This year, the number's up to 210. It's even gone international. Word has it that there were drives taking place in China and New Zealand. So what I'd like to do, because so many people have been touched by this, if you've ever donated an item or been part of a club that's done this, please stand up. Really, really impressive. Thank you. So we're really blessed today to have five folks here that I'd like to invite to the stage to receive the 2018 Volunteer of the Year Award on behalf of these great organizations. From the Notre Dame Club of Staten Island, please welcome Joe Delaney and Bob Spadaro. And from that fabulous group, 
Lou's Lads. Please welcome Mark Monahan and Randy Kinder representing Lou's Lads. And please welcome Reggie Brooks, who's wearing two hats. <laughs> Reggie represents both the Monogram Club and Lou's Lads. Now, I'm really hoping that the, the, uh, the plaques are here. To your left. Oh, they're up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, first of all, congratulations. And, and thanks for taking the work that you do seriously and making all of us better. So, um, Lou's lads. Wow, thanks. What an amazing honor to be the Notre Dame Alumni Association, the most powerful, recognized alumni association in the country, if not the world, and to be honored like this. Dolly, thank you so much from the Lose Lads organization. Um, Lose Lads, um, if elder generations here remember the old Leahy's Lads group, uh, a bunch of us got together as we were coming back to honor Coach Holtz as the university was, often does and brings him back and I think it was the dedication for the statue they were doing at the university. We started to recognize and sort of talk amongst ourselves that, hey guys, we're starting to get that age. We, we need to start doing something to honor Coach Holtz ourselves for everything that he's done for us. So sort of taking the trend and the pathway that Leahy's lads did, we formed a group that entailed everybody that played for Coach Holtz. Didn't matter if you were a walk-on, manager, trainer, automatically you're in that group. I do see several lose lads here, LaShane Sadler, hopefully he didn't sleek out, Dr. Richie Roll, Flash Gordon. These guys are in our community, our, our lose lads. Oh, how could I forget, Mr. Scruggs? Uh, just talked to him earlier, I apologize. But the whole impetus of the thing was it's time for us to take leadership and to honor Coach Holtz. And sort of the preface of that is what better way to honor Coach Holtz to honor the university that he loves and to get us together as players and get and honor and protect and take care of each other as former players. In that standpoint, uh, we brought together everybody and started to figure out ways to help each other in their own communities and as ourselves as a whole. It started with dedicating a scholarship to the university and Coach Holtz's name. And that has just sort of taken over from there. Um, from that standpoint, uh, one of our board members, Randy Kinder, uh, met Mr. Delaney. And from there, even though Reggie was or Randy was one of our best running backs when I was here. I think he wanted to play quarterback because he took this and he ran with it. He became the quarterback <laughs> of our program. And I want him to explain the special relationship he has with Joe and how we've come together to help them build the awesome organization that they already had. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'll be extremely brief because I can feel Coach Holtz in my brain right now saying, wrap it up, wrap it up, son. <laughs> um, it's always good when you need to, when you want to get involved in a service project, kind of like Buffett, you, you go to something that's already working. And we were very lucky, I was very lucky to be introduced to this, what the Staten Island Club has been do, had been doing at that point for, when was it 19 years, 20 years 20, at that point? 23. 23 years at that point. And uh, I was in, in, invited up by a colleague of mine who, who works in the New York City labor movement and said, you're Notre Dame, you gotta see what your brothers and sisters are doing. It's amazing what, how they're changing lives. You gotta get up here. I went up and I fell in love with it. And shortly thereafter went back to, to our crew, our lads and said, this is it, this is the thing. Um, and right away after I told them the story, they said, let's get on it. So um, what I wanna say to all of you is if we aren't working with your club, um, it's, this is a way for us to get back involved with you. Um, and I say that as somebody who is not involved with my club, and I know there's some people here from Washington, D.C. Before I leave, we gotta get together, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but we're, we, this is a way for us to get back involved with you, to give back to in, 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 the, in what the teachings that our coach gave us, but also in what this university means to us. And uh, I'm so proud to be a part of this. I'm so proud that we've been able to, to do this and to be honored by you. 
Uh, thank you, but it, it really starts with these folks with Joe DeLay. I'm gonna turn it over to him, thank you. Thank you, Randy. And thank you, Dolly, for your kind words. I wanna thank Barry Ryan, who also helped us in the original planning of this and all the other members of the alumni board that were supportive of this. Any club that would be interested in doing a spring food drive, no matter how small or large, I'll be around, come and see me. God bless you, and just thank you for letting us represent our ladies' university. Thank you.